Hi, my name is Bishop Robin Dinanat, and I'm sitting down in my office right now and I'm just thinking about a mission trip that I've just came back from. And it's done to my heart to share with you my experience. Um, so I want to thank you for taking at least five minutes of your time and to watch this tape. Uh, while in the country of Uganda, Africa, I have never experienced anything like it in my life. To see the devastation and the ruin of families in this country. Upon arriving there, I had no idea actually what to expect. But what it did, it gave me something to wake up for every morning. When you realize what you are giving to these families in these countries. Um, the first thought came to my mind, my children, that I afforded to have a job, I could send them to school, I can take care of them. And you know, I watch my children rise up every morning and they would laugh and they would play. But here in Uganda, I've got an experience, and forgive me if I felt emotional right now, but um, whew, I've, I've woke up and I've watched through the windows, I've watched kids going to school. I had no shoe on, you know, walking barefoot on the sand. I had an opportunity to visit a few of the schools there, and. Um, you know, when I was growing up, we had benches and desks that we would sit on, we would brace back, we would relax. Uh, but these children, all they have is a little bench to sit on for eight hours. Some of them have a home to go back to, to eat lunch. Some of them don't, ha don't have a home to go back. So they will sit in the school and they will sleep. So I had an experience where I walk in one classroom and most of the children were sleeping and the teacher were teaching. So I asked her, you know, why, you're allowing these children to sleep. She looked at me and she said, Bishop, just because they don't have food for lunch, and so they are sleeping through their hunger. Man, come on. I would watch my children. They will eat, they will leave whatever they want. They have a choice of what they want to eat. But here in Uganda, these children don't even have a choice. Another experience that really break my heart, that really bring tears to my eyes is that I had a bag of candy. You know, we took some clothes and we took candies and stuff to distribute to the children. And so I had a bag of candy in our, you know, this little school under this little tent in this village. Walk in there to share a few things with them. And when they saw the candy, man, these children rushed to me. Uh, you can see that on the video. I had to hand the teacher the bag of candy just to, man, just for a lollipop. One of the kids had, had a lollipop and he, he looked at me and he smiled and he said, Papa, thank you for lollipop. Man, that broke small heart. You know, I watch these kids trying to touch me. They, 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 they wanted love. And, um, that's what we want to share with them. I want to thank you personally for your help, for your prayer, for your support in the Josiah House of Hope that we can share love to these children. I want to share with you um, a little bit of the Josiah House of Hope for Children building project in Uganda. And so I'll give you a little summary of it. The Josiah House of Hope for Children is in the process of purchasing one acre of land and starts its building project in Kampala, Uganda. And of course that is in Africa. This project will construct a home that will house about 50 orphan children a feeding center, a building for school, and a clean water source and dining hall. The water source we are building will also benefit the surrounding community that consists about basically 500 people. Um, we will employ local people in the community to assist in this building project, as well as volunteer assistance. Um, Josiah House of Hope for Children will also support all the children through their formal education. And so I want to share with you what is the issue, problem or challenges in Uganda. In, in Uganda, Africa, there is an estimated 10,000 children who do not have a home and are known as street children. Man, I've witnessed this myself. There are thousands more that have homes but do not attend school due to the neglect or the abuse 
um, or different situations in life. And so, how will this project solve the problem? Building a Josiah house of hope, a building a house, a school and a feeding center on the one acre of land that we will be purchasing. It gives us the potential long-term impact. A new orphanage within the community will offer opportunities for micro-businesses such as a chicken farming and egg production to grow. Once these businesses are profitable, more cost-effective and efficient feeding system will be bought to optimize land use and capacity. The project will also provide clean drinking water to the entire community, meaning that there will be a fewer water-related illnesses. And today, I pray to you that you can help us. Every drop in the bucket counts. It takes each and every single drop to build the ocean, and you can help us today. I want to assure you that a $10 will make a difference. A $5 will bring hope to a child. $100 will bring something that will make them an eternal impact. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, I, I know time is precious, but I want to personally thank you for watching this DVD. And I pray that God speak to your heart and you see the need of the children of Uganda, Africa, and as such that you will help us in the building project of the Josiah House of Hope. I pray God's blessing upon your life. And as I said, I will give you further update. But for now, join with me. Pray for these children. Join with me. Come to Kampala, Uganda, and volunteer. Whatever you can do, but we need your financial support today. God bless you, and I love you.